Hi YouTube, Musical Aviator here. We're going to be flying a helicopter today out of Mariba, 22 miles away to Cairns, where we will kind of come to an end of the uh, Round Australia tour for 2019. And we'll pick it up next year. A wonderful C-47 DC-3 over here at Mariba. You can see it's missing an engine. That's all right. A little bit of uh, barbed wire on the fence here. Well, we walk around to the chopper, which we'll get to by getting to the chopper. Might as well look at where we're going. After takeoff here at Mariba Airfield, we'll. Uh, Probably enter the circuit 800 feet, then track northbound along this road. Uh, given the low cloud cover, which is about 3,000 feet, I do believe, we will um, follow the road, which keeps us in the valley. That way we won't need to uh, climb much above 2,000 odd feet. Here at Mariba, scattered cloud at 1,000 Temperature 30, and the QNH1014. Cairns, uh, seeing scattered cloud at uh, 4,500. QNH1012. Hi there, it's Robert and Ron. And a uh, Korean person I can't remember the name of. Here we have the school bus route, so you can catch a bus here to go to school, 8.45 or 3.15 to go home. This is the car park for Maria Airfield, not much here. Big chunky wastewater tank there, so there's a lot of poo in there. And a random pumping station. Museum flights in that direction. We're not catching museum flights today. We're catching a helicopter. So continuing along the fence line, we'll enter on the next uh, left-hand side into the fence. A couple of shipping containers here. Not sure what's in them. That car. Whoa. No footpath here, so it's a little bit um, close to the traffic. Anyway, I hope your New Year's Eve plans are doing okay. Mine's not started yet. 6 p.m. so we've got another six hours to go before the midnight and then I'll be flying to Sydney tomorrow. Just gonna grab a drink of water. Here we are at some of the hangars. Wrong hangar I think. We need to be in the uh, other one to the left. Let's go. Here we go, the helicopter hangar. Hi there, Aaron, how are you? Hope your New Year's Eve is going well. As you may have heard, the township of uh, Melakuta is um, having issues. Not sure there is a Madeira event anymore. There was one last night, the night before anyway, this will be the last flight for me of 2019 next time I take to the skies it will be 2020 this is the aircraft we're flying today, Sierra Uniform Alpha let's do a quick cursory look in here
strange little machine. No, I don't have any people over. I might uh, visit a friend of mine. Might not. We'll see how it goes. Good stuff. Let's jump on in. Happy New Year to you as well, Mr. Renaissance. All right, we're inside the chopper. First thing we need to do here is turn on the fuel. Done. Uh, today's flight's not too long, about half an hour. It's 22 nautical miles. Okay, fuel shot valve is on. Circuit breakers are in, controls. Just open up the friction lock. Away. <laughs> cool. Pull that back, feels free. Forward, left, and right. The Madeira event will be in yesterday. So if you get there in about 24 hours ago, you'll be fine. Thanks, rudders. How you doing? <laughs> Flight is a 57 minute drive. Pretty much, yeah. And we can only go about 90 knots anyway, so we'll be going a little less than one and a half times the speed of a car. Let's get the door closed. Well, I'm not going to be practicing auto rotations in this chopper, I'm just going to be flying it down to cans. Don't fire the chopper nearly enough to do anything fancy with it. Okay, number six. Throttle. Works fine. Collective. Good. Uh, mixture fully rich. Done. Primer is down and locked. Avionics off. Clutch. Disengaged. Rotor brake. Rotor brake, there it is. That's on. That's off. Of course, there's a map on a helicopter. There it is, right here. <laughs> you can put it on your kneeboard. As you know, in 2020, which is to say, roughly now, there is a mandate that you need to have an ADS-B out in anything that's flying in controlled airspace. So our helicopter does, in fact, have a GTN, which I've installed. In fact, let's turn that GTN on now. There it is. One twenty six seven set. Okay, so we're on the master switch, comms are on. 
Controls neutral, throttle, twist for priming, cold 10, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Throttle closed, ignition switch. Cool, that's all it. Starter is in. And give it some throttle. Throttle's open, governor is on. Start light is out. Fifty five per cent for the idle. Getting her off, isn't it? Cool. And we can engage the clutch, get those uh, blades going. Cool, RPM's down, we can disengage that, make sure that our alternator is in, batteries are on. Carb heat full on, just check the RPM for that. Yep, small decrease. Magneto to the right. Looks good, set to both and to the left. Looks good. The default system uh, 2020 is a SP with a G1000 GPS. I happen to like the air-to-air -air one because it actually is very similar to an aircraft that I've flown in the real world which did not have a GPS like that. So better, if better means things that I haven't used before in the real world, then better can go and take a hike. Okay, cub heats off again, clutch is in, warm up, we've got 75, we're actually sitting at 100 now. Com. Which communication radio do we need? We have 1184 and 1249. Happy with that. Cool. And we need COM2 because we're on uh, the ground at over here. Last of the checklist. Warm up is done. Tempted pressures in the uh, greens, no warnings. Car peak check was done. Sprag clutch check at 75 was done. Needles did split. Idle is okay. Doors are closed. Seat belts are on. Friction knob is off. And I'm uh, going to check the RPM.
six again. Yep, there it is. The RPM warning light comes on. Clutch back in. Clutch is good. Collective, neutral. And that's the engine run-up checklist completed. We will now just need to uh, take off. From Rebuild we track northbound and then we'll follow the road all the way up. Uh, 2,500. Traffic Mariba. Sierra Uniform Alpha is a Robinson R22 departing the uh, south end of the field. We'll be tracking into the uh, circuit 800 feet, tracking northbound, Sierra Uniform Alpha. Alright, let's go ahead and get out of here. I did want to do that first. Okay, we're on a track, um, that's through the whole circuit. Fifteen hundred, so the circuit height is uh, thirteen hundred. Twenty three hundred, I mean. Track Mariba, Serie Form Alpha, tracking downwind runway uh, two eight. There's the road up on the follow. I am wondering why that's happening. Makes no sense to me. Looks like the controls are in one piece. That's a governor. I really don't remember turning the governor off. Huh? Oh, it is on. Okay.
I don't know much about helis either, especially this one. What I can do is give it full pelt on the cyclic and then we'll just uh, blast away at, um, at full speed. We are currently sitting at just about 2,800 feet. And we'll bring it back down about 2,005. See the top of the cloud, uh, top of the mountain over there is just inside some cloud. Never a good idea. Fortunately, we can just follow the road along. One good thing here is that we are only flying 22 miles. So it should be a relatively short flight. There's the ridge line. Once we hit the ridge line, we're about two thirds of the way through. And we've booked out helipad number two at Cairns. That's the northern side of the helipads.
not too much um, this New Year's. I'll be going to bed nice and early and getting up tomorrow to fly to Sydney on uh, Qantas 747. Switch over to the approach on uh, Tom One set. That's Tower. That's Com One. Yep, real life 747 tomorrow morning, well tomorrow afternoon actually, about 2pm. I'll be on that flight, seat number 60. I think it was Juliet or Kilo. The window seat without a window. Traffic cans, uh, Sierra Uniform Alpha is a S. So you have Robinson 22 helicopter popping over the ridge inbound to helipad north side. So we're from up a traffic cat. Okay, coming up on Corunda. Yeah, <laughs> real live stream. I might uh, pop in a little bit, but it's probably going to be videos. Don Domel, how are you doing? Yep, everything's in FSX as well, the OZX. It was originally designed for FSX. We're going to cut through that gorge right there.
Traffic cans, Sierra Uniform Alpha, Robinson 22 is uh, 2,500 over Corunda. Uh, descending now to uh, 1,000 feet. We'll be landing on the northern side helipads. Traffic cans. that road going all the way up there and back around down under us here yeah that's a road and a half to 1,500. Okay, we do need to stay on the west-hand side of the freeway. highway that is Switch over the tower. Again, traffic, Syria Form Alpha is a uh, Rupter 22 helicopter on the west side of the uh, Brits Highway, tracking inbound to the northern helipads. Traffic, Kent. There's 800. Okay, we'll slow it down. I think I've got the pad spotted. Yeah, Unicom. Probably Unicom. Not like we're going to run into another aeroplane though, unless they're landing on a helipad. 
if it's an aircraft landing on a helipad, then there's a problem. go. Roughly on the H and we can start the shutdown. British Airways 737 over there. All right, going to pull the uh, brake. That's the rotor brake. Cool. Switches off. And with that, I say welcome to Cairns. Oh, yeah. I've got to turn the lights off. Good -o. So, Sarah Uniform Alpha. So there we go, a uh, Robinson R22 helicopter, VH Sierra Uniform Alpha, Mariba de Cairns. First time being in a helicopter for a very long time. And in fact, I think it's the first time I've uh, streamed a helicopter ever. And also the first time I've flown a helicopter in P3D.
Cool. Well, I hope uh, you have enjoyed the first foray into helicopters from my perspective. Next time we do fly, it'll probably be Milk Run Monday next week. And we'll probably end up flying the 747 from Melbourne to City, which is a flight that I'm going to do for in real world uh, in less than 24 hours. Next GA tour I'm suspecting will be taken out the Legacy, Lancia Legacy, heading on up to the far north of Queensland. We are in far north Queensland, but even further north. Heading up to um, Lockhart River. Anyhow, this uh, little FBO building looks pretty inviting. We'll uh, jump into here and call it a night. I do hope you enjoy your New Year's Eve 2020. And with that, I leave you. I've been Musical Aviator. I do hope you've enjoyed the flight in the helicopter down to Cairns today. Have a wonderful new year. Don't party too hard. Don't get drunk. And we'll see you on the flip side. Until next year, though, I bid you adieu. Bye for now.